Hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel, welcome back, I'm Mariam. Welcome to my first best of video for 2022. In this one, I'm gonna be talking about the seven best eyeshadow palettes of the year. I'm going to be ranking them, going down the list, and of course, I'm also gonna be talking about my top eyeshadows and creating this look with my favorite or favorites. So go ahead and pause and take a guess which eyeshadow palette or palettes I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Let's see how good you know your makeup. And that's pretty much all I have to say for this intro, so let's get right into this video. The seven best eyeshadow palettes for 2022. Here we come. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already. Hit that notification bell. Wednesdays and Sundays videos. Share this, Share this video, video wherever it is shareable. It is shareable. And hit the thumbs like, thumbs up, thumbs up button. You get what I'm trying to say. All right, let's hit it. Notes very quickly because I don't want to give anything away. So let's start from the top. Since there are seven best eyeshadow palettes for 2022, I want to kind of go down the list starting at number seven and talking about each one, telling you why I love it. Then after I talk about all my favorite palettes, then I'm going to create this look on this eye using my favorite palette or palettes. All right, so let's begin. At number seven, we have the $69 Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. Now this palette is in number seven because it is one of the best eyeshadow palettes for the year. This was a surprising palette. I did review it on my channel. I actually reviewed all of these palettes on my channel so you can go back and watch those individual videos. But the reason why I'm mentioning this and why it's in the number seven slot is because this palette really surprised me. I was not expecting much from this color story. At first glance, I thought it looked a little muted. It reminded me of Natasha Denona's Zendo palette from the previous year, but just like a little bit more boring. That was kind of like the word that I was throwing around because when I saw this online, I was just like immediately bored. I was not drawn to this color story, but what surprised me and what made me actually fall in love with this palette was seeing it in person. I think this this is one of those hidden gems and it hits you different when you see it in person and once you're able to play with the colors and once you're able to create looks and pair some of these pinks and greens together I thought not only was it a unique color story it was much better executed than I had even imagined so because of that this palette is in the number seven slot. Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes are always incredible. The eyeshadows are just so superb, so richly pigmented. They are so easy to use always. And so I'm a big fan. So what I am judging in these palettes, I am really nitpicking because the expectations are always, always so high. The bar is set really high with Natasha Denona palettes. So now as all of ND palettes, this one is made in Italy. Like I said, this is a $69 palette. 15 eyeshadows, unique custom mold that is exclusive to Natasha Denona. There's a huge mirror here. I never really peel off this protective plastic, so there you have it, number seven. Moving on to the number six slot. And this palette may be in the number six slot for me, but it may be in a higher slot for you, just because this to me is the best eyeshadow palette in the nude category. And I am not someone who gravitates towards nude eyeshadows. I far prefer something on the glam side, so deeper nudes, like browns and darker shades and like rich metallics and golds, if I'm going in the neutral color story or I prefer colors. I love really, really vibrant colors, greens, purples, pinks, doesn't matter, but I am just a lover of color. But that does not mean that I can't appreciate a good nude eyeshadow palette when I see one. So in the number six slot, we have the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Palette. This is $48. We have 18 shades, look at all of these nudes. We have tons of nudes. We have cool nudes, we have warm nudes, we have ochre browns, we have tons of variety. There's a black in here, which is really nice. And of course, we also have this whole row of beautiful shimmery metallics. I personally thought this palette was really, really, really well executed. All the buttery matte shades were just so easy to apply. I really love this. I thought this was great, especially if you're someone who likes to wear nude eyeshadow looks 
or if you're someone who reaches for these types of shades on a daily basis, you would love this. I mean, the possibilities are endless here. You can definitely do an easy everyday smoky eye. You could amp it up for night with some of these deeper shades. You could definitely do like an ethereal look. You could do a glam look. I love this because I felt like it gave us a lot of options. So to me, this was great. Truly, truly nude, no pops of color here, which is why it's in my number six slot. But like I said, if you love nude shades, if this is all you reach for, then this will probably be in the number one slot for you. I should probably mention that the six shimmers here are actually reflective shimmers. So they do have tiny specks of glitter, but I wouldn't call it glitter, I would call it sparkle. So think of like MAC super fine glitters. This is kind of like how the sparkles are in this eyeshadow palette. They're not glittery by no means, but they are very reflective. Alrighty, moving right along to number five. I gotta give it to Natasha Denona again with this pastel palette. This $69 eyeshadow palette is probably the only pastel palette that is not chalky, that actually has true pastel shades. These shades here, Airy, Bellini, Brick, and Feather are true pastel tones, but they are not chalky. They do not show up weird and dry and pasty on the skin. And this doesn't even have to depend on your skin tone. Whether you are fair skin or whether you are deep skin, these pastels will show up properly, especially if you pair it with other eyeshadows that are able to support it, such as some of these metallic shades. So to me, this pastel eyeshadow palette was really smart, really well thought out. Obviously, they did some A-B testing because clearly the shades that were picked are universal shades that definitely work. So to me, if you are into pastels come the springtime or not, even in the summertime or winter or whatever, this is the palette to get. It looks like there's like two different formulations, but there are different types of mattes in here. Some of them are a little bit on the satiny side. Some are more on the matte side and same with the shimmers. Some are just flat shimmers. Some are a little bit color shifting, like this shade called Illusion has a bit of like a green to pink shift. Also with this limoncello, same has like a yellow to silver shift. So keep that in mind. I love this one. I was reaching for it a lot last spring. I thought it was really well done, super fun colors to play around with. And for myself who loves color, this just hit home for me. Congrats ND, Natasha Denona and team you guys killed it with this one. In the number four slot, I am going to award this spot to the best neutral palette with a twist. So this palette that I'm about to talk about is not necessarily nude, although it has some nude shades and it is neutral, but it's neutral with an interesting twist to it. I am talking about Lorely Los Angeles Whimsical Nudes palette. So now this is actually a holiday palette. This is something that recently came out, but this color story to me is so fun and it's so much more than just neutral. Even though there are neutral shades, there are definitely very wearable shades with the sand shell or with the cedar rose. There's obviously a black and like a creamy kind of shade. So these are shades that you could definitely wear every day to sculpt out your eye, to create a light smoky, or just like a wash of color, just to step out the door quickly with. There's also five shimmery shades, but what's interesting about these is these three shades right here. So these are kind of like on the greener side of things. This shade, Sweet Willow, is probably Probably one of my most reached for shades this season. I've just been like popping it into the inner corner. I've been popping it to the center of the lid. Like whenever I feel like, oh, I need a little bit of color in my eye. I just don't want to be neutral and boring. I want to be neutral with the pop. This is the shadow that I've been reaching for a lot. Now this palette is $36 only. So I feel like it is very affordable for the kind of quality that these eyeshadows actually provide. So not only was I super pleased with this color story, I was really pleasantly surprised with the quality with these eyeshadows, just like how beautifully it applies. You can see it in my previous videos. I was definitely raving about this one a lot and I gotta give it to Laura Lee. I gotta give it to her team. This is by far my favorite Laura Lee Los Angeles eyeshadow palette at number four for me. All right, you guys, we are coming in hot with these next three eyeshadow palettes number three, number two, and number one. And these next three palettes, I guess I'm going to rank them. So whereas the others were kind of like the best of neutral, the best of nude, the best pastel, this next eyeshadow palette is just like the best overall, which is why they are top three. I am talking about the Huda Beauty Empowered 
palette. This was also my favorite from Huda Beauty for the year. This is such a glamorous, beautiful palette with so many different eyeshadow formulas and textures that it just gave me so much more than even meets the eye. Just like looking at this palette and seeing the colors. Some of these are colors that we've seen before. Yes, there's lots of browns, there's lots of golden shades. It's like a glammier, darker neutral palette, but there's nothing neutral about it. This is a wearable, but super glamorous palette that, like I said, is one of my favorites from Huda, if not my top favorite from the brand. So this is $67. I would definitely call it the best glam palette of the year. There are five finishes in this palette, you guys. We have matte eyeshadows. We have two gel creams that could be used as eyeliners or as eyeshadow bases for some of these shimmers. We also have shimmer metallics. We have wet metallics, and last but not least, we have metallic pearl eyeshadows. The finishes are super, super different. This is a very layerable palette, so it's very friendly for day or for night. Let's say you have like a wash of one of these shimmery shades for just like a very glossy kind of day look on your lids. But if you wanna amp it up and if you just wanna add more oomph to your look, you could definitely do that with some of these wetter metallics. I thought this was just so well put together. I love this palette. Palette. I loved it. I had so much fun creating different looks with it. I love the fact that there's like a maroon brown shade in here. Also different shades of browns or different undertones. We have cools and we have warms. I mean, I can't rave about this enough. This was a hit for me with a capital H-I-T. Plus the messaging just like resonates with me. I love a strong female lead, you know what I'm saying? And so this to me just, I don't know, made me feel special. I love it. All right, should we do a little drum roll for number two? and number one palette of 2022. Drum roll, please. And in the number two and in the number one slot, we have a tie this year, you guys. I just feel like these two palettes go perfectly together. They are so cohesive. They are similar but different. I had to just give them a tie. In the number one and the number two slot, we have my two favorite palettes for the year. The Pat McGrath Artistry Palette Celestial Nirvana and the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 4 Transcend palette these two beauties right here let me show you what these look like side by side and then I feel like you'll know exactly what I mean when I say these are so cohesive they can almost be one palette ta-da first of all as a lover of color these two palettes are giving me all the color that I want all right so first I'm gonna talk about the Pat McGrath so the celestial Nirvana palette is $82 it is available right now on uh, Pat McGrath's website. There are 18 shades and four different finishes in this palette. We have mattes, we have metallics, we have shimmers, and we have satin frosts. If you are looking for a wearable colorful palette, this would be your wearable colorful palette for the year. When I saw this online, I just knew that I had to have it. I love the fact that there are neutral shades in here, there's also cooler shades in here, and there's warmer shades, and there's enough neutral shades to give you like an everyday look here with the browns. There's enough like warmer golden looks here with the reds. I just feel like there's a lot of possibilities and a lot of versatility with this palette, which actually Pat McGrath is known for. This is something that Pat herself and the brand excel at. Their eyeshadows are also always made in Italy, which is why they are so impressive. They are so easy to use, super, super, super richly pigmented. The shimmers, the sparkles, they are always out of this world and I just love this one. I can't rave about it enough. Actually, what's so funny is that when I talked about both of these palettes, the Pat McGrath and also the Danessa Myricks, unknowingly, I said that both of these could potentially be the best palette of 2022. And I'm gonna pop up both of the thumbnails for the two videos. And this is totally a coincidence, but this is how I felt reviewing these palettes. Best palette of 2022, could it be? So this just goes to show you how impressed and how obsessed I am with the quality of these two. All right, so now let me talk about the Danessa Myricks palette. This one I will say is probably the most unique palette of the year just because the finishes and just like the textures and just uh, these eyeshadow palettes are so glorious. I 
almost don't have the vocabulary. I almost don't have the words to describe it. Is this as wearable as the Pat McGrath? Perhaps not, but is this a palette that can absolutely elevate any of your looks and take it to the top, whether you are a celebrity makeup artist working on celebrities for the red carpet, whether you are just like a makeup enthusiast who loves makeup art. I would even go as far as saying if you're someone who competes in the makeup industry, you know, like if you do competitions, if you are a drag queen, if you do stage work, like you need this palette. This is just one of those incredible palettes for the artist. And even if you are not a professional, but you feel like you are an artist at heart, you need this. All right. So this is pretty pricey at $125. We have 14 shifting shades, four unique finishes. The fact that all of these are shimmery shades with unique finishes is like also kind of over the top because I've never really seen anything like this before outside of the Nessa Myrix eyeshadows. These are flakes, like chrome flakes, but in a jelly formulation. So you can kind of like mush it and apply just like a sparkle of flakes, or you can literally pick up a lot of product and have just like a crazy foiled eye look. There's a lot that you can do with both of these. There's also these incredible wet to dry shadows. I'm speaking a lot. So now that we've come to this point of the video, I guess you could probably tell which palette or palettes I use to create this eye look that looks kind of complicated, but is actually really, really simple. There's only four eyeshadows in this look. I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna show you what I used, but before I go on, I think I wanna mention a couple of honorable mentions, ones that didn't make it to my top seven, but palettes that I did enjoy this year, and I'll tell you why they didn't make it, and I'll tell you why I enjoyed them. So, speaking of Pat McGrath, Mother Pat also brought us the Mothership 10 palette, it, this one right here and although I really enjoyed it this is just not a color story that I gravitate towards I'm not really like into the mauve shades I find them to be perhaps as not complimentary on my skin tone as like some other shades so although I used it and although it is beautiful it wasn't something that I yearned to reach for if you know what I mean but it is really good quality, and so I had to mention it. Similarly, with Miss Natasha Denona, we have the My Dream palette, which actually has a very similar color story to the Pat McGrath Mothership 10. It also has some maroon types of shades. There's a duochrome shade in here as well, also some warm shades. So kind of like in between the Huda Beauty Empowered palette and the Mothership 10 by Pat McGrath. I like this, but again, I just didn't reach for it enough, and I guess I couldn't remember it as much as I did the pastel palette or the retro glam palette. So those are my honorable mentions and those are my top seven plus two extra best palettes for the year. So now I'm gonna show you how to recreate this look using my top faves, my tie for the number one slot, the Pat McGrath and Anessa Myricks. I already have my lid primed and today I just wanted to go for something different, something greener, because this is not a color that I usually go for, but you know, it's Christmas time, so why not? All right, so first things first, I'm gonna take a small fluffy brush like this. This is the Sculpt number 22 brush in collab with my girl Ash, Ash K. Holmes that is. I'm gonna dip into this shade here, like I said, this one is a very wearable palette, so it is really easy to use. It has a lot of transition shades, whether warm or cool. And so what I'm gonna do is densely pack it on to my eye socket area, kind of like that, and then just connect it to the outer corner, just like that, something very simple. You don't even necessarily need to blend this out, but I'm gonna blend out just the edge of that so you can see how easy this blends. Just like that. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more color, add it to that connection, and just very softly and gently blend it out. I'm using the Huda Beauty Eye Blender brush to blend. Next, I'm gonna pick up a MAC 219S brush. It's like a pointed pencil brush. I'm gonna dip into this green, matte green. I'm gonna place that directly to the outer corner, just like that. This is a true Christmassy forest green. I'm just packing it on, but I'm not bringing it too closely in. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just bring that in from the outer corner to the center of the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go back to this brush and clean up like that. Super, 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 super easy. And because these eyeshadows are such great quality, they are really easy to work with. They really listen to the command of your brush. 
All right, so over here I have like a really, really sharp edge because I applied my concealer afterwards. So you could totally do that if you want, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna close out this palette. I only use two shades from this one. I'm gonna dip into this shade here called Escapism. Look at that. How crazy is that? I barely even touched the eyeshadow with my freaking finger. It's crazy. If you guys have watched the show 1899, this color reminds me of the beetle from the show. So what I'm gonna do with this is just glide that across my lid so easily. You don't even necessarily need to glide it. You can just tap it just like that. How stunning. Making sure that I'm covering everything. And there's still so much pigment left on my finger. Literally insane. Insane. So then I'm gonna take my green brush and I'm just gonna clean up right above. Not adding any more color. I'm just kinda going across. Next, I'm gonna wipe my finger. I'm gonna take a small tiny brush. This is Refer 03. I'm gonna dip into this shade here called Angels. This is like a crushed crystals type of shade. Gonna pop that right here into the inner corner, but I'm not done. This is a little bit too cool for what I'm going for. So I'm gonna tap the same brush into the shade Divinity, which is much more gold, but a little bit too gold for what I'm going for. I'm gonna mix them together. I'm gonna add that right on top for like a bit of a champagne-y type of sparkle, just like that. Stunning. So you could still see the brightness from the first shade, but it's not like as blue. And essentially that is my look. That that is so simple, yet so effective. These two palettes are a must. So to finish up my look, I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara, Essence Double Trouble, it's waterproof. And then I'm gonna add a lash, this one from Kiss X Meredith. This style is called 4AM. I already have it on this side. It's just like a cute little curved, wispy type of lash. I'm gonna cut it to size. I'm gonna add some lash glue, and then I'm just gonna pop on this lash. All right, there we go. So this is essentially my look using my top two favorite palettes for the year, Danessa Myricks and Pat McGrath. So what do you guys think? What do you think of my list? What do you think of my look? And what are some of your favorite eyeshadow palettes for the year? Maybe some that did not make the cut for my video. Let me know your thoughts, comment, below. I definitely want this video to be more interactive so that we can all learn from each other and from each other's experiences. I think that would be really cool. So this video is actually the first of my best of series for the year. I also have best foundations of 2022 coming up and also of course the best products of 2022 encompassing all makeup, not just foundations and eyeshadows, but everything else in between. So be on the lookout for that video. And now I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to wish you guys a farewell, invite you to check out more of my videos over here and I will see you in the next one. Peace out and I'm out.